Hey folks, David, Creative Craft House. One of the most difficult challenges of a, a puzzle maker is to uh, build a really difficult puzzle, very high quality, and yet uh, low cost. And I think that's uh, what we've managed to do here. This is a, a board burr uh, designed by Derek Bosch. Um, and it consists of these four pieces as you see here. The goal is to build this X or double plus sign uh, configuration here, and these pieces are locked together. Uh, the puzzle will come unsolved in the four pieces. It will not come with instructions. However, uh, my good friend Ken Irvin, who worked with me on this project, uh, is going to uh, continue on the video to show you a video of the solution, uh, should, should you want it. Uh, these pieces are made from uh, thick cast acrylic. Um, it's a little less than one quarter inch thick. It's very, very rugged, and these are precision cut. To cut acrylic is very hard. Thick acrylic is very hard. Uh, but I do have a very powerful uh, laser machine that is able to cut through it. So we've got uh, accuracy and, and really some beauty, too. There will be different colors available. Um, I'll, I'll, I'll use two colors in every, every one, but the colors will mix up. You know, I've got clear, I've got green, I've got yellow, I've got red. There's a little bit a different red, kind of a translucent. Um, and I've also got um, black and brown and gray that I may throw in there. So um, a very challenging puzzle, um, small, uh, but these pieces are just a little over two inches long. But actually, they're they're quite nice to to work with, um, and so they're um, uh, portable too. They're they're you know lightweight. You can throw them in a in a bag or a pocket even and, and work on them when you have time. Very challenging puzzle as you will see as Ken Irvin goes through this solution. Thank you now. This video is for the X marks the spot burr developed by Derek Bosch, a US puzzle designer who is internationally known and recently has won awards for some of his designs. And this particular puzzle is a board burr where the pieces are flat in, in a board structure. It has two identical pieces, two sets. We have the blue set here on the left and the red set on the right and they've been color coordinated so that you can see the difference as we show the solution for this puzzle. The solved puzzle, what it looks like is right here on the left, this is in green and yellow. So that is the target shape that we're looking to put together with the blue and red pieces. So for these two pieces, they go together in pairs, and I'll stop during the solution to show you how they align as I put them together. So I'm going to start orienting the pieces this is a red piece which I will just put up here it will go in that position the blue piece here will go this way this red piece is the mate of the other red piece and you can see that I've oriented this one where the two combed pieces are to the left this piece will be flipped and they will be on the right so that they are mirror images of each other. And the same thing happens with the blue piece where we have this hook coming forward this one will be facing the back. So to start putting them together they will go together in pairs. So you take the two pieces and you align the openings this opening on the red piece and this opening on the blue piece and start to put them together. Now for this one you actually want to move the red piece back but to do that you have to actually move it forward first and then push it to the left and then push it to the back and then you can start moving it forward back up again and then you can make them together like that this is their orientation in the final puzzle and I'll show you that as we put those together several times and we're going to do the same thing with the other pair, except it goes in the other direction. So this will come back, and then we'll move it forward. And then we'll push it a little further out. 
and then we'll move it up to its final position and make a pair like that. So now we have two pairs and these two pairs will actually go together and it's a weaving process to put them together. We now have the two pairs in their final position with respect to the pieces that they contain and we're going to start weaving them together to get our final puzzle shape. So we're going to take the left pair, the first pair, and we're just going to drop that red piece down, pull it out and push it back and put it in the corner so it looks like that to get that red piece temporarily out of the way. On this pair, we want to get the blue piece out of the way, so we just pick it up and, and push it back. We're then going to mate the blue piece from the first pair, and we're going to use that notch, with the notch from the red piece of the second pair. So we're just going to put those together. We're going to drop that red piece down. We're going to pull it forward, drop it down, and pull it all the way to the right. So it looks like that. We are now going to take the blue piece and push it back forward again and then drop it so that it's now in its final position with respect to the red piece. Now that we have that, we're going to lift the red piece from the first pair up. We're going to pull it forward over the blue piece and then we are going to push it to the left so you can now see that it locks that blue piece in. And then we're going to pick it up. So now you can see that we have both pairs that are now interlocked with each other. We're now going to lift the blue piece up and push it to the left and then push it back and then lift it up so it's now parallel with the blue piece from the first set. And then the last part is to take that red piece, push it to the left, move it up, and then push it back, and then finally lift it up into its final position so that it's now in its solved state, and it now matches the green and yellow puzzle that we have.